some nonfiction this week. This is His Majesty's Airship by S.C. Gwyn. His Majesty's Airship is the latest nonfiction from Pulitzer Prize finalist S.C. Gwyn, author of Empire of the Summer Moon. The book is the story of the British airship R101, which went down in a huge blazing crash in 1930, causing more deaths than the Hindenburg disaster seven years later. At the time, airships had been used in World War I and were the hope of bringing far-flung countries in the British Empire into reach, but in reality, they were dangerous gas-filled balloons prone to accident and failure. This book is the story of the ambitious lord who dreamed them up, the Romanian princess who was his paramour, and a pilot who was a national hero slowly devolving into alcoholism. His Majesty's Airship is a smooth-moving story and takes a friendly conversational tone, which is needed here because there's a lot of details and different people involved, and those kinds of facts could really bog down the story if not handled well. It covers the history of these flying machines, how they work, the lives of the people involved, and of course, the through line is the story of the R101's flight that led to its exploding in a fireball and tragically causing the deaths of most of its passengers and crew. I don't know what it is about these zeppelins and airships that's just so insanely appealing to me. They're a little bit kind of steampunk, I guess, like deadly diabolical weather machines from an old adventure story or like something magical from a Studio Ghibli film. They had smoking lounges, sleeping quarters and bars on them and people would pack luggage and dress for dinner. There were these amazing characters surrounding their creation, counts and heads of state, dashing airmen ready to risk it all to fight for victory. The real story of these airships, as I learned in this book, is kind of bonkers, so my sense of them was not completely wrong. They were incredibly dangerous, full of highly flammable gas that could be sparked by something as simple as static electricity, and made from materials that were fragile and could be damaged by the slightest scratch. They were huge and unwieldy, unsafe to fly in most weather conditions, but had caught the imagination and the egotism of some powerful people, and in their rush to get them flying, passengers' safety checks were really not done. The R101 was more of a prototype than anything, something minimally tested and still in the experimental stage, but no one in charge was willing to accept this. Things could go wrong on these air airships so easily. They frequently did, and when they did, they often ended in a huge ball of flame and with no survivors. Suffice it to say, I enjoyed this book. I only had an impression of these flying machines before reading this, and I was really interested in how they worked and what their history was. I was also really drawn in by the people the book talks about, the historical figures. There are the three mentioned above, but also a lot of other people involved in these airships and their creation. It was such a different time in history and people's lives and the attitudes of the times were so different. There's a little bit towards the end where I started to feel a little bit bogged down in technical details, but generally this book is really nicely paced, has loads of good detail that it gets across well. And um, yeah, it's because of its really easygoing style. Is really well written. Um, yeah, it takes a very interesting chapter of history and brings it to life, and I learned a lot. So this one is one for history buffs, and those who love the turn of the century sort of era will enjoy this one. Excellent nonfiction. And thank you to Simon & Schuster for the ARC of this one for review. You can check out some of my other videos. I also have another channel and social, so you can find links below if you want more of that. And if you want to hang out again, remember to like and subscribe. And you can always leave a comment. Let me know what you thought or let me know what else you might want to see. Thank you.